Football is back, man. I'm really excited that we're getting NFL games that count. And now I'm going to hit you with your DST sits for week one. So you don't want to miss out. If you haven't checked out the start video, make sure you go check out the options that you can pivot to from leaving this video to put in your starting lineups. So let's get right into the episode. So the first defense may surprise some people, but I'm coming in hot, man. But you probably drafted this defense. You're probably thinking about they are start and forget for the rest of the season. But man, I'm telling you to bench the Baltimore Ravens defense going up against this Kansas City Chiefs offense. Now we look through history since 2018. The Ravens, including playoffs, are one in four. In the last three regular season games, the Ravens defense have allowed over 30 points to Mahomes in that offense. So I'm looking at this defense as a stellar defense. It's going to be a great defense when it's all said and done, but opening up week one with an L because of your DST, because of the Baltimore Ravens, I do not want to set the tone for my rest of the season like that. They've only sacked Mahomes twice in the last four seasons, people. So there's not much upside for the pass rush, in my opinion, to get after Mahomes to get you some fantasy points there. So I'm not too confident about the Baltimore Ravens and your starting lineups for week one. So I will be sitting the Buffalo Bills defense going up against the Cardinals in week one because this Cardinals Cardinals team, they have some new toys that I know they're waiting to unleash with Marvin Harrison Jr. You have Trey McBride there, that run game with James Conner and Trey Benson. And don't forget about my guy, Greg Dortch. This is an offense that looked well after Kyler Murray returned back from injury. It looks like they were all snapping on all cylinders. Looking at this Buffalo Bills defense who lost a lot of pieces in this offseason where they lost their two starting safeties in Micah Hyde and Joy Poirier and Matt Milano broke his leg in week five last season as well there's a lot of missing pieces on this defense and we're not too sure if this defense is going to be able to stop this Arizona Cardinals offense on week one you also have to put in account they lost their top leading pass rusher and Leonard Floyd to the 49ers so therefore you're hoping that Ed Oliver can step up like he did last year where he had career highs in the pass rush but I'm not too confident with this Bills defense that is going into week one against this Cardinals offense that I think is going to be spectacular and probably going to put up a lot of points. So I will be sitting the Miami Dolphins in week one going up against the Jacksonville Jaguars. This was a top 10 DST team last year. They were cooking on the pass rush, but they suffered a lot of injuries and some key losses where you have Jalen Phillips who tore his Achilles last year, Bradley Chubb who tore his ACL in week 17. So you have two major key factors here recovering from defense. And I really look at this pass rush last year where they had six players to have over five plus sacks but half of those guys are gone and you have two of those guys recovering from major key injuries so I look at this defense not to be living on the high the pass rush high of last year but I don't know if Chop Robinson or Calais Campbell will be able to get the job to get these sacks that brings the fantasy points to these DST teams I'm not quite sure if they want to go up against this Trevor Lawrence offense where they have new toys as well on Brian Robinson Jr. and they have Gabe Davis to stretch the field I can only imagine this defense holding and maintaining at least under 30 30 points but I'm not quite sure I could feel confident about this Miami Dolphins offense defense in week one so another really, really good DST defense in the Cleveland Browns going up against the Cowboys. I will be sitting them on the bench because only the fact that they'll be going up against the number one scoring offense in the Dallas Cowboys in 2023. And CeeDee Lamb is back. He's paid. There is no question if he's going to be on the field and not much has changed from this offense. This Browns defense does scare me in week one, being that they're going to be having a hell of a schedule for the rest of the season as well. When it's all said and done, I don't know if the Browns will be a top 10 DST team, being that they have the hardest strength of schedule based on last year winning opponents. And four of their final five games will be against the 2023 playoff team. So you're looking at this schedule, man, and I get a little worried in the middle of the season once we get out of the first month of football because on week four to week six, all three of those will be road games and their schedule does not look pretty. They have allowed 25 or more points in eight of the 12 games last year against teams with winning records. So therefore, I'm not too confident with them going up against this Dallas Cowboys offense. They might be looking to put up a 30 burger on this Browns defense in week one. So that wraps up another great episode of Rotoballer Fantasy Sports YouTube channel. Please make sure you guys like and subscribe. And please let me know what you guys think about the sits. I know they might sound crazy, but man, 
play it safe in week one so you don't have to set the tone for the rest of your season. Looking at 0-1, that's how you started. So you guys can follow me at Real Deal Fantasy on all social media platforms. Until next time.